Hello and welcome. My name is Kate McDonald, Program Manager for the Engagement Insights team, a new capability of customer insights that's currently in public preview. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to get started with Engagement Insights. First, you must have an Azure Active Directory user account. Once you have that and you have reviewed the Engagement Insights terms of use and privacy statement, you can get started. Here, I've already created a new workspace. Um, when you create a new workspace for the first time, you'll have the option to add any members in your organization that you'd like to have, but you can also do that um, once you've already created your workspace under the admin tab on the left-hand side. Now you need to instrument your website with our web SDK to begin collecting events. Under admin and data here on the left nav, you'll see a code tab. All you need to do is go grab that code. I can just click copy. It's been copied to my clip clipboard. I have my Weebly website here that I want to tag so I can begin tracking events. So I open my editor. I'm going to go into the settings and add it into my footer. There we go. You can see my ingestion key is embedded within the script. You want to make sure that you add the copy code near the top of the head tag and before any other script or CSS tags and you are all set to go. So now I'm going to save this and publish these changes so that it updates. And now I will go back to my engagement insights. I'm gonna refresh the page so that it has a second to begin collecting some events. And let's check the real-time usage. Awesome, and here we go. So now my data is flowing. I am collecting events. I can see my streaming events. I can view real-time reports. I can also create custom events with my data and I can create refined events for export and even export my data to data lake storage. Thanks so much and have a great day. Be sure to check out our community page and try Engagement Insights today at aka.ms slash try EI. See you next time.